This is adolescence, the conversation in between gas and EVs. Pick your poison. Have you ever heard that straight roads are for fast cars and curvy roads are for fast drivers? Or does that not even matter to you? You see, you can power your car by gas, electricity, and everything in between. And we got fast cars and expensive cars and practical cars in all of those different categories. The conversation around EVs, though, does involve us talking about electricity and putting that into our cars and how it's, you know, a DC fast charger versus going to a gas station. Well, that infrastructure is important because your daily driving habits do matter. Um, when you look at the size of a battery and how far you get to travel, are you using that battery distance every day? Or in my case, do I get to use that battery distance over a week based on my normal driving? You know, hybrids and plug-in cars, they're, they're all going to have a different place. The thing is, though, 110 volts is not going to cut it unless you have some very special use case scenarios where you're not traveling very far or have a plug-in hybrid, which means you're using gas. 110 overnight, 12 hours will barely give most people what they need for a day, but you can get that same charge in one hour. And that we've spoken about adding that charge, how far can it take you? It's going to be a little bit different on that road trip where we have plenty of gas stations in between versus maybe one DC fast charger. That road trip is not going to be a lot cheaper versus using a regular hybrid. Our neighborhoods will have to change from having maybe one gas station to a bunch of local charges people can use. And cars have come a long way from where we were. But where they're going is exciting too. And honestly, I love it all.